So if you paddle your canoe, uh, especially if you play like in the surf or going through inlets, things like that, there's a pretty good chance you're going to ding or possibly crack um, your ama or some other part of your canoe. So the word is that uh, you can use super glue to repair these cracks. Uh, and I, keep in mind that I heard this from a friend who heard it from a uh, repair guru who called China and China said that this was the way to repair uh, cracks in the AMA. But uh, just keep in mind that, that I'm not an expert. I'm hearing this from somebody who heard it from somebody who heard it from somebody. So uh, you, can, you can use this or not, but uh, I just thought I'd try it out and we'll see how it works. So you'll see here, I got a couple of cracks that, uh, that need to be dealt with. I think, uh, I think this one was a rib. Um, crack the ama, crack a rib bone, that was fun. I think this one was my head, actually, uh, maybe, in theory. And uh, this one, I I'm not sure what caused that one. Could have been a head, could have been a rib, could have been a paddle. Uh, but, uh, but these cracks do happen if you're gonna go out and play in the surf playing the waves so I really don't know what I'm doing uh, because I'm making this up as I go along but it seemed like a good idea to clean the areas that I'm gonna apply the super glue to um, since alcohol seems to work pretty well for forever sticking a GoPro mount to anything uh, I thought I'd use that here it seems to be cleaning it up pretty good so I'm told that, that pretty much any type of super glue uh, will work, just your basic super glue. But what you don't want is the uh, gel. You want the liquid super glue that's going to flow uh, into the crack uh, nice, and, nice and freely. Uh, so that's what we've got here. We'll try it out and see what happens. Yeah, so I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, haven't done this before. I figured, and that's probably way too much super glue right there. Um, figure you guys who've done this before, you know what you're doing. This is a good opportunity for you to share your knowledge. So feel free to comment below with improvements on technique. Well, it really is hard to beat this super glue technique I'm demonstrating here, I think. I probably should be wearing gloves uh, to do this because I've found that the one thing that super glue actually works really well on is uh, my fingers. And I've found that every single time I use super glue, I really need to make a how to get your fingers unstuck video afterwards. Um, so that's not very pretty. I'm not that pleased with that. A couple of places it came out right, but hopefully this is gonna keep something catastrophic from happening, especially while I'm out tonight paddling the graveyard and a little bit rougher rougher conditions. All right, so it's done. Super glue has dried. I'm not going to check it because I'll end up gluing my fingers together uh, without a doubt, but here's what my my first attempt at super glue repairs looked like. Um, not that pretty, but hopefully functional. Uh, in theory, I'm told that the super glue will flow down into the crack and we'll actually bond uh, the carbon fiber together and, and make sure this is strong. So hopefully tonight I'll live through this graveyard paddle and we'll have a, uh, a graveyard paddle uh, posted up pretty soon. Um, theory is, or, or the rumor is, that we're actually going to have um, an unlimited OC6 out there paddling with us too. Of course it'll be way ahead of me, uh, but maybe we can get some video of that going through the ocean uh, tonight. Should be very cool. All right, if you have improvements on this method, ideas, suggestions, uh, leave it in the comments. Let us know. Share your knowledge. Thanks.